Hey everybody, we're standing here at the uh, entombment of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his wife Coretta, and this is the King Center in historic Auburn Avenue area of downtown Atlanta. And just over three years ago, I stood here and we filmed uh, um, a little segment on a dream that we had inspired by Dr. King and the 25th an anniversary of MLK Day. And we dreamed of starting a peace movement inside prisons and taking his message of restoring the beloved community into a place that is not considered beloved. And we just had an idea and we stood right here in front of this and I don't have that video. I don't know where it is. It's out there somewhere. But um, now just three short years later, um, that dream is, is spreading through prisons, schools, churches, and communities. And we've started a a peace movement for this young generation that never has really had one of their own. Our generation had one, and uh, but there hasn't been a peace movement, and there's been a lot of people who have done a lot of things in Dr. King's name, and amazing strides have been taken and progress has been made, but this young generation really, you know, is focused on other things. A lot of them, it's just, it's a media-driven, technologically fast-paced generation that's listening, and they're you know they're watching and listening and talking and it's everything's moving so fast and so this movement is about teaching young people nonviolent principles and creating peacemakers and so I'm here with a couple of of young peacemakers Cole and Ralph and um, you guys stand here in really right in front of uh, the burial place of Dr. King and his dream lives what does Dr. King's dream uh, mean to you and I'll just I'll give you a little you know, what he said was, my dream is that uh, my children will, will be born and raised in a country that does not judge them by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. What does that mean to you in, in today's generation? Um, to me, that means uh, just treating everybody as a human. I mean, for me personally, at least when it has to come with skin color and stuff like that, I I see people as people. I don't judge people by how they look or the color of their skin. Um, I don't base my friendships off of that. Ralph, one of my best friends, is not white. Um, but that's just what it means for me. And I think Dr. King wanted that to be um, for people to just judge people on the content of the character, on who they are and not what they look like. There you go. Uh, variety is beautiful and we all bleed red. <laughs> uh, to me, his dream, uh, I think it, it, it symbolized not just skin color, but anybody in general. Because a lot of things can separate people, even within the same race as well. And uh, I think it was just it comes down at the end of the day to everyone is equal, whether you have a disability, whether you dress a certain way, whether you you just look different than other people. At the end of the day, judge people by their character, not by what you see. Okay.